Hello viewers, in this video I am going to cover certain important questions, I am in the short questions and these questions may help even in the long questions also but my focus is to the point of short questions upon the request of students I am going to work out dynamics of machinery I mean DOM under j and h for R18 regulation students I am going to cover short questions if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do do that as well as share this content with your friends I have come up with only the short questions and this may helpful for you even in the long question please do concentrate on each and every part as the course is too tough for the students who feel that they need to practice each and every part which I am highlighting here. Expression for gyroscope couple is said to be a gunshot question. I mean the two mark or three mark effect of gyroscopic a couple on rolling of a ship and effect on aeroplane. Such type of question is for sure in the question paper this time. I hope you are taking all the short questions together. I mean the first question from A to J to be written very neatly together. Static equilibrium of a body and conditions to be satisfied for a body to be in static equilibrium as well as the conditions for three force bodies also asked several times d allen Bett's principle dynamically equivalent system is said to be of a topmost question which may be asked in the long question also sometimes coefficient of fluctuation of speed as well as energy and equivalent dynamic uh, system and the conditions of it and the types of brakes and the applications dear students types of friction is also said to be a topmost question uses of turning moment diagram of a reciprocating engine that may be a reciprocating or any engine uh, spin and precision and the differences and the maximum fluctuation of energy in a flywheel is also said to be a topmost question why flywheels are needed in forging and pressing operations a general question for a mechanical engineer sometime they are going to focus even the general questions also dear students hope you are taking your exams very neatly types of mechanical breaks you are not supposed to skip any part as per the uh, question paper pattern which is of part A as well as part b you need to be thorough with the entire unit it's seen from the three uh, exams of the final year as well as two three exams you have taken till now they are going to ask in-depth questions from each and every corner of the syllabus quotient versus angle of friction and the differences when a differences is asked you are supposed to make a tabular column in such a way and highlighting a as well as b and writing in a point wise when the differences were asked if you haven't gone through my video on how to take a theory paper please go through the channel and search uh, how to take a theory paper to score a better mark which is uploaded in my channel laws of static and dynamic friction and single plate clutch torsion dynamometer is said to be a topmost question uniform pressure theory necessity of balancing is also said to be also topmost question expression for speed of governance different types why uniform weight is preferred while designing a clutch and self locking in brakes along with an example and forces in a friction is said to be a topmost question dear students hope you are taking your exams very neatly by highlighting each and every point and do not forget to write the question number sensitivity and isochronism of a governor is said to be a topmost question and dunk relays formulae and their limitations and the balancing of reciprocating masses in the reference plane and why it is used sensitivity and isochronism and hunting in connection with the governor explain the term and the primary and secondary balancing in a reciprocating engines as well as the function of a governor and sensitivityness of a governor is also said to be a topmost question and this may be a part of part a as well as part B. I have uploaded a video on part A as well as part B. I mean as per the COVID pattern, I have uploaded a video on dynamics of machinery. Please kindly go through it and you'll be getting good marks if you're following my points node on a shaft with rotors and the mode shape diagrams and the types of free vibrations and define Rayleigh's method and the effect of natural frequencies of vibrations and the drilling of shafts define the term may be a short question longitudinal versus transverse versus torsional free vibrators is said to be a topmost question amplitude of force vibration and types of damping is also said to be one of the important question when do you say a vibration system is under damp such type of general questions will be asked as for the mechanical engineering dear students hope you are going to like my videos as well as share this content with your friends as well as go through my channel and find out the long questions on dynamics of missionary which have posted long back hope you will perform well this is your chendu signing off for today if you are looking for any course please do comment thank you